welcome back to DXB Today, where tonight, of course, we are talking about gaming and pop culture. And our next guest is a designer helping create sustainable awareness among the youth in the region through an immersive gaming experience. Please join me in welcoming to the show Aisha bin Haidar from UAE Year of Sustainability. Aisha, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you, thank you for having me. So before we jump into the game, tell us a little bit about what the Year of Sustainability is doing. I think I can guess from the name, but let's get into specifics. Yes. So already this year, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan announced that this year will be a continuation of Year of Sustainability uh, under the tagline of Plan to Action. Uh, so continuing on the legacy that we've been trying to uh, instill in the community as a lifelong uh, commitment. Uh, we can start off with talking about the pin before we jump into the game. Okay, happy uh, to. Yes, so we have the Year of Sustainability pin that was created from uh, Date Pits and Mother of Pearl, uh, which is completely sustainable and the paper itself is also plantable. I love that, I love <laughs> that. I cannot wait to plant it at home. Yeah. <laughs> so you're taking that, you've decided. Uh, yes, I have. <laughs> Already. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, um, let's go into this game that you have for the Year of Sustainability. Tell us a little bit more about Estadama Craft. Yes, Estadama Craft is a game that is a very special project that we worked on last year. And we recently launched uh, this year, and it's mainly a game, a full game, gaming experience that catalyzes sustainable behavior change for the kids specifically um, through tapping into play. And is it all done through the Minecraft engine? Yes, it's hosted in Minecraft uh, world, in Minecraft uh, game itself. And it completely reflects the UAE culture and the UAE uh, biodiversity uh, and different biomes here in the UAE. Uh, how, how did it all come about? Because it's a big project. Yes. What was the inspiration behind it? What was the first thought as to as to why you wanted to go ahead and do this? Yes. So it all started with us wanting to reach to the younger audience. So how can they understand sustainability or how to catalyze sustainable behavior change? Uh, so it started with us wanting to build a game from scratch, but then uh, it went into us looking at a more sustainable outcome. Uh, which is going and tapping through the intended audience to where they already exist and in the world that they already love. And this is where Minecraft came in place. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is how we started developing the game to reflect the UAE biodiversity, the sustainable practices, different challenges that they can go through uh, out in the game itself. Aisha, first of all, I have to say, even though we've just met, I'm so proud of you. Uh, you what so you've accomplished is, is wonderful. And, you mentioned earlier that you have over 800,000 yes. downloads already yes. uh, worldwide. And I was just curious, are you looking to um, create some new downloadable content or DLCs for the future to keep on developing uh, the world? Yes, for sure. So when we were designing, in the designing process, we uh, contacted a lot of players and kids to show them what we're kind of building as content, but also um, some some experts to support in the building of the game. So looking into the future of it, we'd really love to uh, continue the legacy, see how, where it takes us with the people of the community for sure. Well, I'm actually very excited to know because I have played Minecraft in the past. Uh, how can you download Is the Democraft? Do you need to have Minecraft originally and you download it as a mod or how does it work yes, if people yes, want to get involved? Exactly, that's right. So you can find it on Minecraft Marketplace and Minecraft education websites or on our website uaeyearoff.ae and then you download it into into the game so exactly what you said. And I want to ask what kids will learn from playing this game and more importantly will there be enemies that they can kill <laughs> <laughs> or is that taken out? <laughs> so it's a very beautiful safe game that kids could actually enjoy <laughs> there is lovely free built areas in the game so the game itself consists of five different biomes uh, the city, the mountains, the coastal regions, the marine and the mountains. And um, in each biome, they get to learn and go through challenges and understand sustainable behaviors in the game itself. Um, 
So for example, in the city, they get to recycle and then they collect the waste, they recycle it and then they learn how to compost. Uh, in the mountains, for example, they learn about how water dams are made and how you can actually uh, get a sustainable energy from that water uh, circulation. And then uh, they get to learn that also the animals are affected around the area. So they start relocating them to the specific habitats that would let them live in, in the right place. So it has a lot of layering to this game and a lot to learn from that fun and educational at the same time. Yes. Aisha, I want to thank you so much for your time here on the show. So thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, but for now, over to Louis, DXB in 60. Oh, I think Arafat is not familiar with this. Ooh. I got a little surprise <laughs> for you. I'm, I'm no, worried don't worry. now. <laughs> Since you like games now, that's all we're talking about. We have a little game here on DXB today. So it's DXB in 60. We have questions for you that you have to answer in 60 seconds, but it's all about you. Oh. Are you ready? All right, then. All right, your 60 seconds starts in three, two, one. If you weren't the co-founder of Comic-Con, what would you be doing? Um, driving people crazy with all my comic knowledge. <laughs> your first job? Um, was an executive in DHL. Oh, wow. Marketing. Your motto in life and in work? Um, lead with love. Nice. Your favorite superhero? Oh my lord, that's a spanner in the <laughs> <laughs> I grew up with Hulk and Thor, so let's just go with them. Is that why the, that was the comic that you brought? It, that is yeah. correct. Makes sense. A movie recommendation? Um, Moon with Sam Rockwell. If you haven't seen it, it's just him in the whole movie. It's absolutely brilliant. Interesting. Yeah. Your favorite video game? Final Fantasy VII. Yes. A superpower you wish he had? Oh my goodness, um, to grow my hair back? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> a childhood favorite game or comic book? Ah, goodness, childhood favorite game would be Adventure on the Atari 2600 back in the 80s. Oh wow, <laughs> I'm afraid that's all the time we have right now, but you still have one last question. Why Dubai? Um, I've been here for over 40 years and I've, I, I, I believe that Dubai is the land of opportunity and you can achieve anything in Dubai if you put your mind to it. I absolutely love it here. Yeah. Absolutely love that. Arafat, it's been a genuine pleasure. Thank you so much for being on thank the show. You guys. And we hope to see you soon. We'll see you at the next Comic Con. Definitely. <laughs> and Aisha, thank you so much for being with us as well. And good luck with Isti Democrat. Thank you so much. All right, but for right now, we are going to take a little break, but don't go anywhere because we have a fantastic performance on the way from Alina. You don't want to miss it. <laughs> 